Hey, okay, sir, and welcome back to the Simpsons Tap Down. While I am complete the current update going on, it's a mini update. It is about babies. In the meantime, though, what I usually try to do in between updates is go back to the yearbook mystery box. Now, there's also the Shattered Dreams mystery box, which actually pops up in between updates. You can see 11 and a half days remaining until the next update. And this is what I got available. I believe pretty much everything is available in the Yearbook Mystery Box already. The thing with this, though, is that it's free because I've got the five tokens at the, the top there, whereas the Yearbook Mystery Box is 30. Now, clearly, it doesn't matter too much for me personally because I've got enough donuts. And there doesn't really seem to be much of anything here other than the character. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually head back to the yearbook mystery box because I have one more prize to go in this category. It is the basketball stadium. So why not go for this? The other one, because I have all those small NPCs, I'm just wasting all of my tokens and I'd rather wait until the next shadow mystery box popping up to see what I get. Because I believe it refreshes every single time. And it also refreshes if you get everything from it as well in that category. And it just refreshes all over again. But yeah, 30 donuts, basketball stadium, here we go. How big is this going to be? I get the feeling the space I have is not going to be enough. It's enough. I'm shocked. I'm shocked that this is so small. Reason being is in the current update that we've got, some of the items are massive. Like we got one item which was like a playground and it's bigger than this thing pretty much. It's, it's nuts. I'm exaggerating, but it's very big. Oh. So we've got Dalek popping up, which means this is pretty old. I'm going to say at least six or seven years old. My strange beehive themed basketball stadium is a stirring reminder that the idiot public can be made to pay for anything. They build me a $250 million stadium and I provide them with a few minimum wage jobs slinging hot dogs for 40 nights a year. Everyone wins. Ay ay ay, un gran casa pa mi familia. Absolutely nailed it. Learn about modern basketball and move into the stadium. Alright. I think everybody's actually busy. Andale, andale. Ooh. Maybe not. Sayonara. What? Excellent. No. I'm actually surprised, by the way, with Fruit Batman here, that they don't have dialogue clips from that episode. You think they would have, but they don't. <coughs> All right, so it's an eight-hour quest. No. Ay ay ay! Bueno, fiesta! El woohoo! Actually, you know what? Let's do the animation, and then we'll do the the sound. So I think for the animation. The lights will turn on, and we're going to get a lot of bees from the top, pouring out. There's got to be bees. With their bees, here we go. Oh. There's a lot of bees. Oh, there's a skeleton. That's actually not part of the animation. Okay. You see a skeleton with the portal? I just saw a skeleton. I'm like... Is the skeleton part of the stadium? It's not. I just realized that the lights do not turn on. So I was wrong about that, but I was right about the bees. Just kind of flies around and around. Up and down and around. In terms of the sound, it's either going to sound like bees, or it's going to sound like basketballs dribbling, or it could be both. Um, I'm going to go with... The sound of a basketball dribbling and then maybe screams and we hear bees at the same time. There might be a little bit going on, but I think that's what's going to happen. Dribbling on a basketball, screams, because I see the bees, and then there's going to be the buzzing. <laughs> Plus 
playing b-ball. You know what? I think I was actually correct. Like, I nailed it dead on, just like I nailed that Spanish. In case you can't tell if I'm joking, I am joking. I did not nail the Spanish. It was very butchered, so I apologize for everybody out there who speaks Spanish very well. But yeah, that is basically it for the basketball stadium. Let me know down below what you think of this particular item. Do you like basketball? Do you have, like, a favorite basketball team? Do you like bees? I don't like bees. I don't really have a favorite basketball team myself. I guess it would probably be the Toronto Raptors, being that I'm in Canada, but I don't live in Toronto. I live way all over on the West Coast, blah. Although we did have a team at one point, but they moved a long time ago. They are now the Memphis Grizzlies. Like, comment, and subscribe for more tap-down videos, and I will see you with more in the Europe Mystery Box in the near future. So thank you for so much for watching, and I'll see you next Bye, everybody.